Look at the layers on this dough. You can taste the richness, the coconut. So far, Juicy has a good patty. It's basically like curry shrimp in a patty right here. It's good. I like it. That was a good commentary. Killed that. Took a couple fucking days off from recording, man. I want to diversify my portfolio of food experiences. This is really an exploration into the yin and yang of Las Vegas. I've heard so many good things about this place. So many motherfuckers have told me about it. Obviously, this is the jewel of Las Vegas. Let's take it on inside, man. I'm getting a fucking suntan already. I'm getting burnt. Oh my. This is the stuffed wing. Look at that. This is the chicken dumpling. The stuffed chicken wing. But who the fuck knows what the hell is in there? When you come to Vegas, this is a must. One of these is lunch for a normal human being. That's our crispy rice salad with a sour pork sausage, spicy number eight. Mom. Well, since you said you love potato chips. Oh, that's just the skin. Yeah, the skin, Ooh. I would definitely. The shrimp skin. The shell made into like a crispy fucking chip. The meat right there. Oh man. Yeah, they say a way to a man's heart is his stomach, right? You damn right. <laughs> you trying to get there? You won. You got it. <laughs> Duck with the noodles. Oh. Mm. The Thai sliced beef salad. It's a fucking house party in my mouth. I just want to say to Penny and Penny's mom, thank you for having us. The world is a better place because of it. I'm just going to make something that makes me feel good. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a nice chicken cutlet with sesame seed and panko crust. We're going to get crazy. We're going to hit it with a beautiful Mexican chocolate sauce. I'm also going to hit it with a scoop of ice cream. I'm going to make a fat guy sandwich. I'm in my kitchen constantly, constantly, almost every other second of the day. But I'm not there cooking. I'm there dabbing. Oh, that tasted like DMP. I attended culinary school for about a year and a year and some change. Culinary school is cool for the beginning, but the best chefs don't even go there. You learn in the streets. This reminds me of driving around, high as can be, going into Wendy's, getting the crispy chicken, spicy filet, getting a frosty, simultaneously eating both. And the bliss that occurs during this is just astronomical. Honey, hit it with the honey. We got all kinds of techniques over here, you see this? Get some nice carbon dioxide going. Boom. On fire, I want it on fire. Yes. Everyone's eating fettuccine Alfredo and uh, lobsters and shit like that. I, I'm not into that. I'm into the very, very, very fine dining aspect of life. I wish I would just fucking shit all over the place already, man. I don't know what's going on. There we go. That's a fucking fuck that's delicious sandwich right there. We're just in Astoria getting some nice chababi. It's a little quick meal. I'm over here at this place, Sarajevo on 34th Avenue. A real neighborhood spot. A little bit off the beaten path. I've had chabab a lot of different places. Eat it right here on the hood in the fucking beautiful weather. Veal, beef, salt, parsley. Got the Ivar, which is a roasted eggplants, garlic, peppers with this incredible bread from the homeland. 
the cheese burek. It's doughy, flaky, just the right amount of cheese. The consistency is something that can't be really explained. I'm good with the Albanians. Ah! Oh. Fuck. It didn't move. All right, you can eat the top layer. The 10 second rule. <laughs> That's a G. That bite tasted as good as the first one. Look at that, that tomahawk chop. This is the reserve that you're gonna have today. This has been aged seven and a half months. So you Look can see that. the gorgeous marbleization. Seven and a half months. And it's right from slaughterhouse to our door. Um, my sous chefs and I handling every piece of meat for three months. This one's seven and a half months. Some children were born in seven and a half months. <laughs> Some. Oh, I like that noise. I smell that funkiness, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for this. Should I take my hat off? No, I think you're okay. All right, cool. You, you smoke do. weed? I do not, actually. I did growing up. I grew up in upstate New York where it's a lot so of good. farmland and stuff. What was your journey? So I moved out with my sister when I was 14, came back to my hometown and met Molly O'Neill, who used to be a food writer for the New York Times. Mm -hmm. And I came on board at B&B, ran Anoteca for three years, and I've been over here for seven. That was impressive. That was very thorough. And I'm very impressed by your entire story. This is, you're a true success story. Thank you. Yeah, no, nah, really, congratulations on everything. Oh! Hold on, I gotta stand up. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's a, that's a bonus. I've never eaten steak that color. Ever? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Wow, look at that. And you can wow. tell that the enzymes have just broken down for so Yo, long. You'll see the God, texture it's... difference, the color difference, everything. That's crazy. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. I'm going to finally find out. I've made fun of so many friends for getting this color, and they always tell me I'm slipping. Mmm, that crust. There's some sort of quality to it that it almost you tastes. Taste the rosemary finish, too. Oh. I've never tried fried cauliflower. That's delicious. Is that a little onion on top there? Uh, it's actually parsley and uh, lemon creams. That's fire. It's the perfect side dish for right. anything. Mm -hmm. Straight up. You could eat this by itself. I'll eat this all day long. Yeah. Okay, so you need to try the reserva now. This is the inch right here. Yeah, here. That's this crazy. This is the 100 and how many days? 20? 120. 120 days. Seven and, and a half months. Seven and a half months. Oh. Holy shit. Whoa. I'm gonna hit it with the wine, see Whoa. what that do. Are you kidding me? It's such a yeah. unique flavor. Not, who, who else does a steak this old? I don't think anybody. Nobody, right? So, no one No one presses that. You gotta press the issue. What an incredible treat. I thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. This is really, uh, I, I'm floored. <laughs> I understand why people do dope. <laughs> because that's the feeling right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I'm I'm not very <laughs> educated. That's what I could compare it to. No, I, I completely agree. Uh.